was your, do you remember the first guitar you ever owned? Well, first of all, like, uh, in East Germany, it was so hard to get guitars in general. You know, I mean, like, uh, they're, uh, if they, they were expensive. And uh, I remember one of the reasons I started, like, uh, playing guitar was that I was in Prague with my friends. They were fucking drinking beer, and I'm, I'm, I don't drink. So I was fucking bored, and I was like, fuck, what am I doing? So I walked through the streets, and I found this uh, um, shop of guitars, and there was an acoustic guitar. And the first guitar I owned was an acoustic guitar that I bought in, uh, bought in Prague. But I didn't think of playing it. I was just thinking of selling it to make some money out of it. And uh, that led me to um, to someone that saw that I bought a guitar and asked me to play, and I said, I can. I uh, like, oh, like, and then I, she gets so my nerve, she's like, let's play something. So I put out the guitar, and like, yeah, I can't play. It's like, wow, that sounds cool. It's like, really? So I was like, very, like, kind of like, okay, so maybe I should learn some chords. And that's the reason why I, like, started to learn guitar, actually. So it was an acoustic guitar that I, that I um, traded for a guitar called Diamant, which was kind of a Les Paul version, East German, called Diamant. And then, the thing was, in East Germany, it was like, okay, you know, yeah, that's imagination. If you would get one of the great guitars, and for me, it was always the Fender Stratocaster. I was like, well, this was Jimmy Hendrix guitars, and this was half the song. I didn't know anything about pickups and hamburger single or whatever. And so, there was this guy that I met in a, in a cafe, in like in my old hometown, Schwerin, right? And he was like, he was like buying books and he couldn't get all the books out for custom. So he stored them like in my apartment. And so we became kind of an acquaintance, as I would say. And so he would come over and then he would pick up the books, you know. And, and then at one time I asked him, so like, you know, if you could, uh, if you could, if you could buy me a guitar, or bring it over. So in, in East Germany, if you would change like money from West east to west it would be like one east mark and like 20 west mark you know so i had to everything i had you know i was i was a jewelry maker at this point like everything and money i had i changed it into west mark and i gave him the money and i said like please buy me my fender stratocaster so i gave him the money and i didn't hear from him for three months nothing now, because I wasn't able to call, because we didn't have phone and stuff like that. I mean, it was a different time, obviously. So I thought, fuck, man. And now I gave him like 1,400 uh, 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 Westmark, and he's gone. He never comes back. And I remember, like, I was so upset. I was so depressed. And then, like, one day I came home, and it was like a day before Christmas. And, like, the guitar, there was a guitar bag in front of my building in the open field, basically. So he came, put the guitar in, and I was like, my fender was like a story, because I was there, it was my first fender guitar. And then like, my, my imagination was so high, that I thought like, what well, is the guitar, like, that has to be played by himself, I don't really have to do anything, which I realized is all bullshit. And uh, I was like, oh, and then I, I was really happy that I had the guitar, but then I realized, well, that's not really the sound that I had in mind. And so I sold him, I sold the guitar actually when the wall came down. And uh, then I had a guitar which I was very fond of. Like it was an old, um, older um, uh, black and gold Telecaster. There weren't not so many made at the point. And I put like an old my uh, I put like an uh, uh, Seymour Duncan Jeff Beck SH4 in there, like a Hamburger, right? Mm. And I remember like you know like. It was like my, it was like my beauty guitar, and just like to change the pickup, and we had people to do it. And I was like with Paul, and he was more experienced, like with that. And he was like, would get out a hammer and like a, I don't know, you call it like the stuff that you move wood from it. And he was like, bang, bang, and I was like, what the fuck, don't do that. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we put the thing, and that became one of my favorite guitars. And then I think I had to sell it because I needed drugs or something. And I had really bad. I sold it. I was on a very low uh, point in my life. And uh, then that led me to actually my first convention, like in uh, Frankfurt. And I, you know, with guitars, it's like with women. You, f you have to fall in love, kind of, you know? 
it's it's you know sometimes you get a guitar and you fall off later, but you know there has to be some kind of connection to it. And I was like at the first Frankfurt connection, I stand, I was like walking around, and all of a sudden I saw that guitar that was hanging on the ESP shop uh, or, or this ESP stand. And it was a 901 ESP sunburst, and I was looking at it, I was like, "Fuck, what such a beauty!" And I was walking around for hours. I probably thought, you know, there's a guy, a weird guy, who wants to steal the guitar. And so I bought that guitar, and that's how I got connected with ESP. And 